Hello everybody. Um, now if you remember on my first ever lesson, which was the bottle and glass shot with lights you can find around your home, um, I said we'd try the pouring shot with the same system, just lights around the home. Uh, well here we go, we're going to go. Now just one thing, little tip for anyone working in a studio, don't do what I've done, wear a white shirt, because it's like having a mobile reflector in the studio. Okay, now another word of warning, I'm going to be using quite strong halogen light, so don't get it too close to the tracing paper I'm going to be using, otherwise it might catch fire. <laughs> bye. Well, no, not bye. Get on with it. Well, here's a little look at the set. Now we've got some tracing paper hanging on a boom. Uh, we've got a glass attached to a clamp and a bowl under the glass. Now, um, you'll see that that's held on the clamp. Now, that's a very simple setup. Really, very, very easy. And as you see behind, it's just a standard halogen inspection light on a stand shining through the tracing paper with the glass in the front. So we'll just close the stop a little bit so we can maybe get a better view of it. Okay, well I'm going to do a little test like that. Okay, so I've got arm's length and we'll have a little look. Well, now we of course did a little uh, still shot and this is it. Now what have we learnt? Um, well, we've learnt the colour balance is way off. We've learnt the exposure is uh, too dark. Now, about the exposure, it's very difficult to get the exposure, so it's really a lot of guesswork. I, in fact, use the meter in the camera and just overexpose by stop, and that's the result. So from then on, um, now we can start making adjustments. Obviously, the bottle's got to be higher, because I don't want that in the image. Um, and the light on the background isn't even enough, even though we tried to adjust it. So let's have another go. Now, I started at around 600, well, at 600 ASA, um, I shot at 500 so for f20, um, so I thought that would just give us a base. Now don't forget we're using um, a halogen lamp, so no flash. And let's go and try and make an adjustment. Right now, as I each time I do this, as it's almost completely guesswork, there's no point in trying to get the white balance from a white card pointing at the camera because it's uh, of course not pointing at the camera. Um, now, I started with 640 ISO. Well, I'm going to drop it to 320. Um, I was on 500th of a second. Well, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to open up to F11 uh, because that uh, allows me for the stop that I've lost and plus a stop lighter. And I've gone from 3400 Kelvin to 2800 Kelvin on the light balance. Now, again, this is all guesswork at the moment. Well, I reckon the 2800 is pretty good looking at the colour, so we'll leave that at that. Um, the glass course has been emptied, and I think we're ready now. Maybe another stop lighter, and then we're ready to go. Well, this is a stop lighter now, but honestly, I think maybe we'll try one even, even lighter. Well, this is a stop lighter, so we're open to 5.6. Maybe a bit light, but... Um, maybe half a stop too light so we're going to um, now i think the time's to look at it a bit more closely um it's not the right jug that's pouring it's making a very strange shape so we'll have another look at a different jug right now well i, I prefer that that pour although it's too straight um well we're getting there now i think i think actually we're there we can um, start shooting we can start making sure there are no drips on the glass we can try and get a nicer pour just wondering whether it's the right glass because I think a, a glass that's much rounder maybe we'll get the water coming back on itself that would be nice let's give it a try well I think that's better that's a much nicer glass we can get a lot of fun out of that and it's just a matter of taking a few pictures now now what about another thing that's making the water colored so let's try it with a bit of bit of food coloring in there yeah now that helps a lot uh, now it's not sharp, is it? So we'll go up a bit more. So I'll, I'll increase it to by stop. Let's go um, up to 1,020 or 200, something like that, of a second. And we'll up the ISO back up to 600. Well, this is it. This is the final shot came out of the camera. Um, I did it 10 times. So in fact, this is the 10th. 
Um, and I think that looks really good. I love the water coming out uh, out of the glass. Now, of course, it does need a bit of retouching. So let's have a little look of what, what we can do. Right, now this is cropped, of course. The jug that slight, was slightly in this crop has just been cloned out and the background's been cleaned up. I've added a bit of colour as well to the liquid. And I think, oh, that makes a great shot. I think it really gives some action. All done with a halogen light. And that's all. And a piece of tracing paper. Okay, I hope you've done something. I hope you've learned something. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And mccordle.com. And mccordle.com, sorry. Um, just come on and you know, say hello. And have a look. And thanks for watching.